The Bond election is upon us, and with it comes the new master plan. But what does that mean for Amarillo College and its students? Uh, so the architects, Park Hill, Smith & Cooper, spent a year-long um, process of focus groups and design thinking to come up with a couple of different initiatives that were identified in the master plan um, in addition to just general renovations so uh, things like updating classroom technologies and lab spaces um, with more modernized technologies um, the creation of an uh, um, the creation of an innovation hub down at the downtown campus, uh, which would house things like 3D printers, circuit board printers, um, all sorts of new and modern technologies uh, to learn and maybe create a business from. Other such renovations include updates to older buildings such as Oldway Hall and additional student parking, but with these renovations also include the taxes, $40 a year to be exact. Um, I don't really see it as a huge deal. It's what you said it was like 40 bucks a year. That's not anything we're really, that's really going to like hit us hard in the, the checkbook, you know? The master plan goes to election May 4th, so be sure to get out there and vote, whether you're in support of the renovations or not. This has been Jeremy Sisworth with the AC Report.